is a fizzard. I'll show you guys how to use it. Fizzard's a putty-like substance. You can just take a small piece of this and you just tear a piece off. I can take the whole thing out or I can just tear a small piece like this off. I'm going to take a small piece off. I'm going to show you how I will rig a two spot. See, I'm going to go bluegill fishing or ice fishing. I'm going to actually take this and I'm going to form it into, say, something that looks like a wax worm. I'm just going to hook it about like that. And there I have a little wax worm on a two spot. Now I'm going to put it in the water. Okay, here's that wax worm in the water. This is how it works. Once it hits the water, this is what it looks like. That's the wax worm in the water. I'm going to give it a little jig just to show you what it does in the water. That's what the fish see in the water. All those tiny bubbles are infused with shad oil. Um, therefore, what happens is you're, you're creating a true scent trail leading down to your favorite bait. Here I have just an ordinary jig head, something a lot of guys use for like a crappie, a bluegill, and a uh, walleye. And I'm going to show you how to rig it with a fizzard. I'll just take a small piece of fizzard and I'll flatten it out like so. And I can take and I can wrap that around that jig head. See how I wrapped it around there? And when I wrap it around like that, it hits the water, it will actually fuse to that head. And now I can still put any bait that I want to put on there, a tube jig, possibly a, a minnow, a crawler, a leech, etc. Anything you want, just add the fizzer. And I'm going to put it in the water and show you how it works. There's your jig head. I just dropped a jig head into the water. Uh, it's just giving you an idea uh, what it looks like on the jig head. I'm going to go ahead and jig it a little bit just to show you what it does. And it's going to leave a scent trail leading to your favorite bait. But that's what it looks like on a jig head. Let me get the hook in your picture for you. Can you ever see the hook in the picture? Mm -hmm. Bear with me, Craig. There you go. There's a jig head in the water. Uh, I just wrapped a fizzard around the head of a jig. Just gives you an idea. You can still put your bait on that jig. Um, tip it with a minnow, a leech, uh, a crawler, a tube jig, whatever you like to use on your jig. Um, I just wrapped it around the head and just show you that it doesn't come off. Um, and that's what it looks like when you jig it. It just makes an explosion of a scent trail. It goes, it goes up in bubbles and it also falls. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I have just a typical bass jig. Um, something you'd throw under a log or a rock or whatever. I'll show you how to hook this with a fizzard too. I'm just going to take a small piece of my fizzard here. I'm going to flatten it out, and for this one, I'll put it under the skirt. Now I can still put some kind of a trailer on there if I want to, but I've just molded that fizzard onto my hook under the skirt, and here's how it looks out of the water. And now I'm going to show you how it works in the water. There's your bass jig with a fizzard on it, just to give you an idea what it looks like in the water. Got an activated fizzard on a bass jig. Throw that on a bed. All those bubbles are infused with a shad scent. You're leaving a trail literally down to your favorite bait. Today it's a bass jig, just to give you an idea how to use it. This is a treble hook, uh, something I like to use for like catfish or possibly carp. Uh, I'm just going to give you an idea how I would hook a fizzard on there. I just take a flat piece of this fizzard like so, and I can kind of form it into a ball, which is what I'm doing. Um, and then I'll take that treble hook, and I can just literally mash the ball onto the hook, and I'm just smashing it. 
and when that gets in the water that'll fuse tight to it. Now you still have the option if you want to wrap your treble or your uh, liver or cut bait or anything you can add to that. Go ahead and add to it. Just use this as an attractant. And now I'm going to put it in the water show you how it works. There's a treble hook in the water, uh, maybe like a catfish rig. You can still go ahead and wrap your chicken liver or your cut bait or your stink bait around that. Um, add your favorite bait or use it alone. It works great as an attractant by itself as a bait as well. That'd be for your catfish or your carp. This here is a punch rig or a Texas rig. It's just a way to hook for bass. I'm just going to show you how to put a fizzard on that and uh, give you a better chance to catch a fish. I just take a small piece of this fizzard, like a ribbon, and I'm just going to wrap it literally around the shank of that hook. Very simple, very quick, very easy. I just put that on my hook like so, and it's ready to cast, and that will not come off in the weeds, and that will attract more fish. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop it in the water and show you what it looks like. There's a Texas rig or a punch jig, just like a punch rig. You just wrap that fizzard around the shank of that hook, still weedless. It just gives you a lot better presentation under the water. That's what it looks like under the water in a punch situation. Here's just a little hook. Um, I like to use a hook like this for trout. I'm just going to give you an idea on how I would hook this with a fizzard uh, to catch a trout. I'm going to use this as a primary bait now. I'm not going to use it as an attractant. This is going to be my bait. I'm just going to take a small piece of fizzard like so and I can turn it almost into a ball. And I can take and wrap it around my hook like that and I can form it into a ball. As you can see now, the trout's going to hit that as a bait. And uh, I'm going to catch a trout on that. I'm going to drop it in the water and I'm going to show you how it works. This is your trout bait. Trout, really any kind of single hook. This could go on a gold hook as well. Uh, just This is how I would rig a trout. It's just a single hook. See how the scent falls off as well as bubbles? I'm going to shake it just to show you. Time-released scent trail.